The warriors of Rohan seek refuge in Helm's Deep, but many will die before reaching its gates. Yep, Fangorn. So, Fangorn, the most ancient forest of Middle Earth, is the last home of the Ents. Shepherds of the trees. And here destroy all Isengard forces. We have Gandalf. You must go. And I will just take this out for so the enemy doesn't take it. And Gandalf should be level 6. And uh, yeah, he's rank 7, but doesn't really matter too much. And uh, yeah, now everyone should be power recharged twice as quickly. And Gandalf should be Gandalf the White. This one, the Word of Power, is very powerful, by the way. It was nerfed. Uh, but uh, hmm. it's still powerful. We must, go. we must go. Okay, this is draft power. I don't really want or the elven gives. Um, he does a lot of damage, but yeah, don't care too much. Make contact with the ants and command your ants to throw rocks. I will just. Wait. It's hard for me to make them into a big ball, big energy ball. And yeah, it seems that uh, the upgrade that makes Gandalf ta take 10 command points, it's still active. So yeah, well, we made contact with the elves and And I'm just waiting for the enemy so I can murder them and deal with it and upgrade Gandalf. Yeah. There they are. What should we do? Rohan, Mustang. Hmm. Where is Gandalf? We must go. I will make just some basic stuff here. I don't care. But yeah. This power is very pow uh, powerful uh, against uh, um, some enemies like trolls or things like that. So yeah, uh, back to the discussion about uh, entering the Jesus in Jerusalem. So yeah, and then one thing that uh, was really interesting was the fact that yeah, the temple should have been a place for worship for all nations, a place where ev anyone could have met with God but what became was uh... oh, man. run you I mean All creatures go and deal with them. Run back, make them come forward to you with cannot tarry, and now blast them. 
with your staff. Hmm. I am wounded. Follow me. Go to the fountain. Hmm. He gives like uh, 200 combat experience. So it's a really powerful. It's really powerful for upgrading uh, for people to get upgraded. And yeah. Anyway, uh, regarding the temple, and he can also get on the horse. Uh, for some less armor against archers and pikes so yeah anyway and uh, yeah that that the temple should have been a place for all to be able to worship but what happened was the fact that uh, it became like a den of uh, thieves because yeah pe people really didn't really wanted to Yes, down and die. People really didn't, uh, couldn't like the Gentiles, the other nation, and the Israels. It's they couldn't really s stay and uh, have uh, part of uh, authentic uh, meeting with God because of all the things that were done in in their destroy or have uh, oh commandants to throw rocks done all the things that were happening inside their uh, um, inside the places and uh, yeah it was really bad for them I guess they got stuck or things like that Elmer, you go here. Gandalf, you go here. And uh, you've done well to attack the ire of the enemy. But now you should go back. And we will stay here and we'll just milk the enemy for experience. <laughs> With uh, Gandalf, I mean, it doesn't matter if he's on a horse or away of, out of the horse, but yeah. Some of them are already level 7. Oh, they were 7 or they became 7. I guess they were 7. But uh, because of the Gandalf's ability, they might get to rank 8 with 200 combat experience so yeah <coughs> we will wait so anyway um, and then God made the temple clean again uh, that was one of the things that happened uh, hmm it seems that they are able to almost have two ranks. After they get rank 8 I will put them in back. Because there are some enemies that still need to have some uh, experience. And it doesn't matter if I lose all my bases as long as I have enough uh, people it will be okay so yeah i will just stay a bit to farm some experience for my guys um but yeah anyway um that was one one thing and uh, then what i realized was the fact that also jesus when he cleansed the temple he made sure to remove all the distraction that could interrupt a people a people who wanted to uh, get close to God. Oh, they are here. Why are you here? Go back here. So, yeah. 
this is what the he he did. He made sure that there are no distraction to, for people who wanted to go to get close to God. No, no things that could distract them from from that. And uh, I was thinking that as Christians, um, when we want to have our let's say time with God, most of the than not it's really really tempted to tempting to have our cell phones nearby but the problem with our cell phones it's that they are a very big distraction uh, for us it's very distracting uh, because it happens to call when you want to get close to God when you want to pray when you want to read when you want to do something it's um, <coughs> It's very distracting, um, that's for sure. And uh, if we can learn something from Jesus, is the fact that we should, as Christians, make sure that we remove everything that can distract from God. Also, uh, another thing that he made, uh, because a lot of people were using the temple like a shortcut to their work home, like. They were like, well, I still have to do this and that, but uh, I will also stop by temple. I will just um, pray to God and go, then go about my ways. Like go to the uh, market, buy something, go to temple, pray, and then go about my business. But uh, yeah, God wants more than that. He doesn't want the temple to be just um, let a stop on our way to a stop on our way to to hmm, how can I say on our way to other things. Uh, he wants to be a destination, a place in which. We don't just stop by at some point, but place that it's really a destination for us. Something that we... Uh, something that we are preparing ourselves to go. We don't just don't go un under prepared, but we are preparing ourselves and we are like, oh, I will prepare myself to get there to have a relationship with God and uh, I think that it's very important to, to know that going let's say on uh, Saturdays or oh, Sundays or during the week if there is to to the church it shouldn't be like one stop along the way it should be a the destination in itself. Okay, you go back. And because the lands are on the siege, you two go and defend them. They're attacking. Why are you doing here? You should. Oh, he's already rank 8. No biggie. The enemy, the enemy is here, sound the alarm. And yeah, I guess this is where a lot of people are is missing. Like for a lot of people going to church or things like that is no longer a destination, it's something you do along the way. And it's really sad because that's uh, not letting us have the proper um, how can i say proper um, um proper uh, mood for uh, staying with god and having a relationship with him maybe there were some who were level seven and some who it doesn't rank up as much. I don't know. 
I will have to see. I... I wonder if after I get them to rank 7, if they... Maybe they... 6, 6 and 7. 6, 6. Hmm. Maybe I didn't manage to level up all of the people last time. Uh, yeah, maybe. Hmm. But, but it should have happened. I, I look it and it should have happened. Three, three, they are rank three, they are rank seven. Oh, they are almost rank 8. Hmm. I'm thinking. So yeah, it's it's something that we can learn to to make sure that we are not stopping people who want to really have a relationship with God and really know God and uh, be with him to be to be careful not to stop them by I don't know uh, being uh, putting all sorts of uh, like obstacles like oh you want to come to our church you must be this this and this if you are not you you have no place into our church or things like that. Let's put the rank 6 and 7s in front. And yeah. Also the 2s should be a bit in front. Because I know that the 2s, they cannot afford to, to fire a lot of arrows because they don't have upgraded arrows. And you should stay here. Oh. Hmm. What is he doing here? You should go here. You should also go here. I guess, and just stay in the pool of things. And yeah. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, they are rank 3. But they will for sure get very easily rank 4. Hmm. The problem is that they get some guys that they should come to me, they get to deal with the uh, ants. Of course they are sending the guys to their tomb. No, oh, they managed to kill one of my guys. Hmm. Yeah, anyway, that was my two cents regarding these things and how we should act. Wait for it here. Yeah, I guess maybe they were some that I forgot to level up because they are, or maybe there were only the two of them that should have been rank seven. 
and seven, seven and seven and seven. Yeah, I guess it was just the top ten. Of course, it would go my way easier if I could have uh, um, had something to give experience to these guys, but unfortunately, I don't have. So they, they with rank 3 they can get rank 4 actually if uh, I would really want to but uh, they have their time to get upgraded no problem now is not the time I don't want to spend the rest of the days trying to upgrade them it's enough trying to upgrade these guys because after I finish upgrading them, everything will be easy, basically. Yeah, now it's the rover. Rank 7, rank 7, rank 7, rank 7. Hmm. So, yeah. Anyway, after this stream I will I will continue to watch Lord of the Rings um, and uh, yeah hopefully finish it I will not watch the Hobbit the Hobbit trilogy in my opinion it's in a way an abomination I know this is a really unpopular opinion how can you say it's an abomination but basically this is the truth it's really an abomination um because yeah they tried from one book of 300 pages to get nine hours of a movie you cannot do that that's for sure you can try to but you cannot really do it it's close to impossible uh, and to have good quality, so the, there was a lot of feeling, a lot of feelers, and people were not very happy with them. I mean, at the first thing I was like, oh, they are making the Hobbit, and oh, it's a free, free parts. I was like, oh, I don't know how they will do it. I mean, I wanted a long Hobbit movie, but... Uh, I was like, I hope they are doing good, and then the reviews come in, and a lot of fans were ki kind of angry because, uh, yeah, they took a lot of liberties, and yeah, it was the more disappointing because it was directed by Peter Jackson, who made the original trilogy, and the original trilogy was a masterpiece. Uh, but then it came this one and it was not so good and uh, Yeah, from what I, I could understand uh, the problem was that uh, Peter Jackson just Get on set in order to savage was to salvage what was already there because Yeah, it it was a very troubled production and uh, director left the previous director left so he was like stuck in a way fixing trying to fix <coughs> what others have uh, already started and yeah uh, that was not very very good anyway basically this will be one of the last um, mission in which we'll have to spend so mu much time farming for experience mainly because the enemy has one or two bases and they are not really exploring them uh, not really expanding them they don't have like a big camp they only have like this outpost and because of that because of this fact uh, they are uh, not very how can I say they are not uh, yeah. 
uh, they are not very aggressive, so I cannot uh, make them level up faster. Of course, after I manage to level these guys, uh, then uh, yeah, we can just go and dominate the map and be done with it and take all this army that we have here okay they are level 8 and together with Gandalf and Elmer start attacking everything and dealing with everything they have basically one or two outposts I mean one is here if they have it one is here so yeah and it's even though they are rank 3 they will go down very very easy and of course Gandalf can do a lot but uh, yeah now he's powerful because he, all his abilities are uh, take half the time to charge but he also take takes like 10 uh, 10 command points which it's almost a squad and Aragorn and Legolas and Gimli if I'm not mistaken they also take like 5 command points each which means that um, yeah it's the enemy's encampment yeah yeah, here they have only like one of these guys. And after I take this base, I guess they have one more here and it's over. So we can try to do Helm's Deep. Uh, I think have, um, have an um, hour is enough for Helm's Deep, basically. And just make sure to heal them. We ride! Okay, and now, in case they have something here, and I guess they have, just go and take it. Hopefully this will not pass to this outpost and be like, oh! I really hope. That. Oh, they were to troll this here. So yeah. Um... The enemy has settled here already, but they only have like an outpost. The main outpost is there, and yeah, if you have upgraded troops, it's a walk in the park. It's no big deal. <laughs> or high bar. Yeah, and the mission is over. Brave warriors have slain the forces of evil. Yeah. And now to one of the missions that are quite hard basically. And they are hard because the elves were how can I say the elves were um, nerfed. So the range is nerfed and uh, 